Wreck is a thriller movie about zombies that- Oh, wait, wrong title. Wreck is a short anime series about a voice actress having to stay in the same house as a bland MC. While it seems to be a forgettable mediocrity like so many other romantic comedies, it stands out by doing things differently. It's an overall low-budget series with nothing eye-popping about it, made in an era when Studio Shaft didn't try to shove as many head tilts and repetitive shimbo minimalism as it could. It looks dull, but it's also what makes you focus on what is going on instead of spacing out because of the pretty color. It is a slice of life which means there is very little to pay attention to theme-wise, but it also doesn't resort to fan service so it can distract the horny audience from realizing they're watching absolutely nothing of substance. The females have normal proportions and don't run around half-naked by default. There is unfortunately some edgy, but it almost feels excused based on the circumstances. It is not a deal-breaker and it doesn't prevent you from having respect for the characters, instead of objectifying them as masturbation material. It's also short, it has no time to waste, it gets straight to the point, and thus it's extremely well paced. It doesn't stretch events so every episode will last 20 minutes and it ends before it starts to get boring. The premise is about voice acting, but it doesn't really go anywhere. It is a show in what it means to be one, with the voices changing depending on the role and the mood, but it's not the thing that gets much exploration. It's more of an excuse to kickstart the sudden cohabitation of a voice actress with a guy whose love life is going bad. And before you think it's going to be another cocktease of constant misunderstandings that never lead anywhere, be informed that the two of them have sex in the very first episode. Something that doesn't happen in 99.99% of all anime that are supposed to be romances and are just going in circles before ending with nothing resolved. And I'm not saying the show is a masterpiece of plot progression either, since not many things are happening and not much is explored, and the ending doesn't really wrap up everything. It's just that despite the simplicity and the shortcomings of the nothing ever happens genre, it's still way better than most of whatever comes out today. It's not about a time reset, trapped in video games, dark and edgy gore fests, or constant tits and ass. In effect, it's more a real than any of the overhyped bullshit of today that everybody calls realistic when it's just blatant self-indulgence. It is not very memorable, but it's a fine example of why average beats flashy train wreck and why once again retro, retro always, always wins. wins.